Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, our earliest sunsets at 419 today, 451. So already a gain of 32 minutes of daylight, specifically in the afternoon. And as we capture the setting sun right now with our eye cam view from Waterbury, where we have 28 degrees. And uh, tomorrow promises to be a breezy, cold, uh, but bright day. Our view from New London showing the cloud cover there on its way out 33 from coastal southeast Connecticut. So we're still 32 to 33 along the shoreline, 33 Hartford. We're in the 20s, sub freezing throughout western and northwest Connecticut, uh, 32 in Putnam right now, but colder air continues to move in uh, on this north northwesterly winds sustain between 10 and 20 miles an hour. So when you factor in the current wind to the air temperature, feeling like the 20s and even teens, especially throughout western and northwest Connecticut, the combined cold and wind only gets worse overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. It's all, of course, behind a cold front that's now offshore and uh, temperatures off to our north. This is the cold air filtering in our direction. 21 Albany, 15 Syracuse, 9 in Burlington. We're going to likely wake up to many towns, especially inland tomorrow with temps in the single digits. But again, the wind will make it feel sub zero. So looking at the big picture, high pressure builds in from the west. We'll talk more about this ahead in our next half hour. In the meantime, Mark Aaron, back over to you, the governor. Okay, Mark, thank you. Yeah, Mark is joining us again right now with more on his forecast. Mark? Yeah, the precipitation, the snow from earlier, it is done and over. Of course, if you've looked out your window, spent any time outdoors, you know the clouds are even moving out. And behind this cold front, temperatures are trending colder. Compared to this time yesterday, 10, 15 degrees chillier, and that colder air continues to move in on a northwesterly wind. So in Kent, uh, we're at 20, but feeling like 12, 27 coming in from Bristol and Woodbridge, feeling more like the mid and upper teens, feeling like the mid 20s in Plainfield with the current temp right now right at freezing. So that wind north northwesterly sustained between 10 and 20 miles an hour, of course, filters colder air into the state and will also, of course, make the air feel even chillier to expose skin. So wind chill values as we head uh, from the evening into the overnight hours will be dropping below zero in northwest Connecticut. We have a uh, wind chill advisory for northern Litchfield County. In fact, as we could see wind chill values approach 15, perhaps 20 degrees below zero. So, of course, residual moisture out there. Uh, on untreated surfaces, underfoot, sidewalks, parking, lock, uh, parking lots um, will certainly become slick as temperatures drop well below freezing as we head through the next several hours. So by tomorrow afternoon, the wind starts to subside a bit. Wind chill values recover uh, back to above above zero. Uh, and temperature wise tomorrow, we're going to be reaching the upper teens and low 20s inland, low 20s at the 95 quarter, which is certainly about 15 degrees below average for this time of year. So we'll have the latest on even colder weather with less wind come early Saturday morning, of course, what to expect for the rest of the weekend ahead in the early warning seven day. Mark, we'll see you again in a few minutes. Thank you very much.